Hi everyone, today we're gonna to make banana oatmeal cookies that are sugar-free and oil-free, and they came from the Vegan Outreach News, and Vegan Outreach does college outreach all over the world, in India, in the United States, and Australia, bringing the message of veganism. So they have great recipes in their newsletter, so I highly recommend signing up for it. So this is a very simple recipe, and we all appreciate simple. You're going to take three ripe bananas. That's going to act really as the oil, well, the egg, more of the egg, and the sweetener, because we're going to add a little nut butter too, which is optional. So come on over. We're going to mash up. I've already mashed two just to save a little time. And we're going to add in two tablespoons of peanut butter, and that will act as the oil, or it's optional. You could use nut butter almond butter, any kind of butter, or seed butter, or no butter. I have not tried it without no butter, but it does say on the directions that the nut butter is optional, probably for allergies too. Okay, so we've got our ripe bananas and peanut butter, and you could even have the bananas be frozen and then thaw them out, get the water off them, and then mash. So again, these are super easy and all whole foods, plant-based. Okay. Then we're going to add in two cups of oats. And I like to use organic rolled oats. And then it calls for a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to use a full teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'll write the recipe out in the comments just to give it a little extra sweet. And I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla, which, excuse me, is optional. I just love vanilla, so you don't have to. So, let me grab a spoon here, we'll switch, and we're almost done, that easy. Then you can add in your favorite fried, excuse me, fried, dry fruits, no fried, <laughs> dried fruits such as cranberries or raisins, and the recipe even suggests dried apples. You could chop up some dried apples. I haven't tried that one yet, but I like to add in a couple handfuls of cranberries. So I just get out of the bin, organic cranberries, and I add in a couple handfuls of chopped walnuts, which of course you could omit also. Now, you can add some chocolate chips, <laughs> some vegan chocolate chips. I'll show you. Well, I don't have them handy, sorry. Enjoy is a great brand. Trader Joe's, their brand. It does not say vegan, but when you read the back, there is no dairy, but they are made in a factory that processes dairy. I don't have a reaction, but I just wanted to offer that up. But we're going to keep it clean without any added sugars besides the banana and the cranberry. So that's it. We got a little bit more nuts here. And again, you could omit the nuts. Okay, you know what? It's actually really delicious just by itself. I'm glad I'm full. Otherwise, I'd be snacking on it. Okay, let's get that out of the way. We are going to use our cookie scoop. Now the last time I've made these, they've turned out a little small, I'll show you here in a minute. So I'm gonna increase my scoop size. I'm gonna make a bigger scoop. And just do a big dollop. And you're gonna bake these at 350. You see, that's gonna end up being a little small. 350 for 10 minutes, and then you're gonna turn it and do 10 minutes more. Okay, just a little mashed banana still. Okay, 
really smell the banana and cinnamon and vanilla. Okay, and I'll keep going in a minute and I'll just show you the final product. After you bake them for at 350 for 20 minutes total, this is how they turn out. So again, mine are little, you can make yours bigger. And they are delicious. They're so healthy because they're so clean. You could have them with some tea. You could actually really have them for breakfast. Take them to work with you. They're a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for joining me. And as always, thank you for saving animals with your food choices.